In this video, we're going to talk about ETFs. I'm going to share with you what four of my favorite ETFs are that you can buy and hold long term. And we'll discuss another ETF that you might want to consider if you want to trade options in it to generate extra income. To make the comparison between these four ETFs really easy, we're going to jump on my Seeking Alpha trading platform. And by the way, if you'd like to check out Seeking Alpha, there's a link in the description below that gives you a 58% discount on a yearly premium membership. The first ETF I really like for buying and holding is the Vanguard 500 ETF, ticker symbol VOO. Right now, VOO is trading at $368 per share. So you can start with as little as $368 and you'll own a small piece of every company in the S&P 500. But if you want to trade options in it, say for example that you want to do the option will strategy in this ETF, you need to have enough cash to be able to buy at least 100 shares of this ETF, so you need to have around $37,000. But if you only wanted to buy a couple of shares, of course you could do that as well. Let's first look at VOO's expense ratio. Here you see that its expense ratio is only 0.03%. So if you invest $10,000 in VOO, your yearly expenses will only be $3. If you invest $100,000, the yearly expenses will only be $30. Now that's pretty awesome, especially when you compare that to say, for example, the popular SPY or SPY ETF. Although it's still very low, you can see here that SPY's expense ratio is three times that amount. It's at 0.09%. Now keep in mind that the annual fee is not pulled out of your account as cash, it's just reflected in your overall return. As you can see here, if we look at the five-year performance of VOO as compared to SPY, you see that VOO beats SPY, and part of that is because of that higher fee. In the blue box, you see that it doesn't beat it by much, but it does beat it in this five-year time frame. And in fact, it beats it in the three and 10-year time frames as well. Now that fee, it may not seem like much if you have a smaller account, but as you grow your account, that small percentage, it does eat away at your overall return. For example, if you work your way up to a million dollar account, you're looking at a difference from $300 to $900 per year by owning VOO as compared to SPY. Because of that, if we wanted to trade in an S&P 500 ETF, we would choose VOO instead of SPY. Notice at the bottom line in the blue box that VOO's performance over the past 10 years has been 176.82% as compared to SPY's at 175.6%. And here we see that VOO's dividend is 1.54%. That dividend is not beating inflation at the moment, but it is some extra cash you can put in your pocket just for owning this ETF. Now let's look at the companies that make up this ETF. Notice here in the holdings breakdown section that VOO is made up of 25% technology, 14% healthcare, almost 13% financials. We also own some consumer cyclical, communication, industrials, consumer defense, and some other smaller holdings, including real estate, which I like. Now focusing in on the top 10 holdings, you see that as number one holding, it comes in at just over 7% of this ETF, and that's Apple. And that's followed in second place by Microsoft, and then Amazon and Tesla, which round out the top four. And then we own some Alphabet or Google, Berkshire Hathaway, the United Health Group, Johnson & Johnson, and NVIDIA. As you can see in the blue box, those 10 holdings, they make up 28% of this ETF. As you can see at the very bottom right corner in the red circle, you see that in all, when you buy this ETF, even if you just buy one share or even a fraction of a share, you're actually buying a piece of 506 companies at the moment. So this is a very diversified ETF that you can invest in. It has a great track record, but of course that track record, it doesn't guarantee future results. But this is one of the four ETFs that I feel very comfortable buying and holding forever. Now the other three, they're equally as awesome. So let's go ahead and move on to number two. Number two is VTI, or the Total Market ETF. VTI's expense ratio is the same as VOO. It's at 0.03%. Here you see in the blue box that it currently has a dividend yield of 1.52%. So again, you have a little change put into your pocket when you receive your dividends. Now, as you can see from this 10-year chart of VTI, it has performed very well because it's up right now 166%. Here you see that VTI's breakdown by sector is similar, but a little bit different than the one we just went over VOO. Notice that technology is again the number one sector, followed by healthcare at number two. And in the top 10 holdings, we see Apple in first place, followed by Microsoft, and then Amazon, and then Tesla in fourth place. Down at the very right bottom corner, notice that when you buy a share of VTI at this $201 per share, you're buying a piece of over 4,000 companies. So it's a really nice way to buy a very diversified portfolio and you just have to trade this one ETF. It just makes it really nice and easy to be able to buy this and forget about it. 
So that was my number two ETF, VTI, the total market ETF. As a side note, if you're looking to trade options in these ETFs, these first two are probably the best choices for you to consider because as you can see in the purple boxes, there's a lot more open option interest in these first two ETFs than the last two that I'm going to mention. But even with these first two, as you can see in the red boxes, they currently only have monthly options. So if you want to trade weekly options or even multiple options throughout the week, then these ETFs, they won't work for you. As you can see here, if you're wanting to trade weekly options or sometimes even every other day, then you probably want to consider using SPY or SPY. Notice in the red rectangle that SPY is options that expire on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week. Then if you look at the purple boxes under open interest, you see that even for tomorrow, Monday's options in SPY, there's a nice amount of open interest in the various strike prices. Moving on to my third favorite ETF, to consider if you're looking to buy and hold forever, you should check out the Vanguard Growth Index Fund, ticker symbol VUG. This is a good ETF if you're primarily wanting to focus on growth, you're not too concerned with receiving a high dividend yield. Here you see under the breakdown of its holdings that technology makes up a lot higher percentage than the other two. Notice that technology makes up over 41% of VUG. So when you buy one share of VUG at about $241, 41% of that is technology companies. Now it does have some other sectors in it, but predominantly this ETF is focused on growth and therefore technology is a big portion of it. Notice in the blue box that its top three holdings are Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon as you'd expect. Notice at the bottom in the ninth and 10th position, you have Visa and Home Depot. In all, as you can see in the blue box, these top 10 holdings make up 49% of VUG. In the bottom right corner in the red circle, we see that this portfolio, it isn't nearly as diversified as the other two. Currently, it's made up of only 263 different companies. With this lower dividend yield, this ETF is able to focus on growth, which as you can see here in this 10-year chart, it has experienced nice growth. Here you see that its expense ratio is a little bit higher than the other two as it comes in at 0.04%, but still well below the expense ratio of even SPY. So this is another ETF that you might want to consider buying and holding for the long term. If you wanted to trade shorter term options in a comparable ETF to VUG, then you probably want to consider Triple Q or QQQ. But notice here in the red box that Triple Q's expense ratio is five times higher than VUG's. But if you're looking to trade especially weekly options, then QQQ might be the way for you to go. Before I get to my fourth favorite ETF, if you want to become a more profitable stock and option trader, please do yourself a favor, hit the subscribe button and bell notification. And if you're enjoying this type of video or are receiving benefit from it, please hit the like button as well. Let's move on to the fourth ETF that I feel comfortable buying and holding forever. And this one serves as a nice complement to the last one that I mentioned with VUG. The fourth ETF I like is the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, ticker symbol VYM. If you're wanting to receive a higher dividend, you're not too worried about a whole lot of growth, then this might be the ETF for you. Notice that VYM is currently paying a 3% dividend yield, so a lot higher than our growth ETF, even quite a bit higher than the first two that we talked about. Now, I mentioned I liked all four of these ETFs. And one reason is that, for example, with VYM, your asset allocation is completely different than the other three ETFs. Notice that its top sector is financials, followed by healthcare and then consumer defensive. In sixth place, we find technology, which is only 8%. And in seventh place, we see that utilities make up a nice portion of this ETF, coming in at just under 8%. And then notice its top 10 holdings. This is nothing like the other ETFs. In the number one position, we have Johnson & Johnson, then ExxonMobil, JP Morgan, and Procter & Gamble. Down in 10th place, and we have Coca-Cola, and just above there, we have several drug companies, including Pfizer, Eli Lilly, and AbbVie. These top 10 holdings make up just over 23% of this ETF. As you can see in the red circle at the bottom right corner, when you buy a piece of this ETF, you're buying a piece of 446 different companies. So this is a really nice diversified portfolio that focuses on value stocks that pay out higher dividends. Notice its expense ratio is higher at 0.06%, which is actually double the expense ratio of VTI and VOO, but still really low considering that it will only cost you $6 per $10,000 invested. Here you see the 10-year chart showing a nice, steady, consistent return over the past 10 years and a nice dividend that goes along with that return. So if you like dividends, this is probably the ETF for you. It gives you a piece of a lot of different value companies that have a proven track record of being successful during good and bad market environments. One way to look at this is let's say you were able to accumulate a million dollars in this ETF. 
with that 3% dividend, you'd be receiving $30,000 a year, and you still get some nice growth, all while investing in some consistently profitable value companies. So you'd be able to pocket some nice dividends while you're off doing whatever fun stuff you have planned traveling the world, vacation in the Caribbean, or whatever fun stuff you want to do. And those dividends, they would just keep coming in and they just keep going into your pocket. Or if you weren't ready to travel the world yet and you're happy where you're at, and you didn't have any big plans to spend those dividends, you could always use those dividends to buy more of your favorite ETFs or outright companies. But this is a really nice ETF that serves as a complement to the growth ETF and the other two ETFs. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. One of the cool things about being an option trader is that we are able to consistently buy ETFs and stocks at discounted prices and eventually we can actually own them for free. If you'd like to see how we use options to do just that, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled Free Stock Using Options. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.